Welcome! In this video, we will show you how to navigate and use Path Presenter for data collection. This video does not provide training on the clinical task. Please begin by creating a Path Presenter account. We will not be using your name, email, or any personal identifiable information in the analysis or publications. However, we may use your email to contact you with follow-up information or questions. Please register and provide requested information. Once you have registered, you will receive a confirmation email. Please follow the instructions in that email to activate your account. Once you have activated your account, log in. Once you are logged in, you will be greeted by your dashboard. To begin collecting data, click View Public Events in the bottom right. Then. Choose a batch to start annotating. There are eight HTC tail batches. Please do not annotate batches in a numeric order. Select one at random and begin evaluating. You will then see a list of whole slide images. This is the batch work list. Click in the top left corner for some resources. You can retrieve the clinical tutorial the navigation and training tutorial, and the informed consent form. To begin, select Analysis. Before collecting data, please make sure that you watch the clinical training video and make sure that you're registered on the HT Data Collection signup. Here is the default data collection view. It launches in a new browser tab. The main area shows the entire whole slide image. The black boxes are the regions of interest to be evaluated. You can zoom in and out with the mouse scroll wheel and click and drag the image with the mouse to navigate around. The buttons at the top of this view provide navigation and workflow tools. These buttons give you explicit control over the level of magnification or zoom. The red outline of the 40x box indicates that the slide was scanned at 40x. It is recommended to do TILS assessment at 20x on a screen that can show the entire ROI. If you click on this button, you will see a thumbnail or navigator's image. Clicking on the thumbnail will move the field of view to that location. These two buttons allow you to view the interface full screen or take a snapshot. The information button provides a quick access to training materials. To begin annotating regions of interest, click Next. This is the recommended way to navigate between ROIs. When an ROI is selected, the field of view zooms in to show the ROI at 20x. In this image, you can see the red lines of the ROI bounding box. In order to see the full ROI, you may need to zoom out or pan up and down. Here is the annotation panel. You can navigate between ROIs by clicking on the buttons in the annotation panel. An ROI button that is marked green indicates that the ROI has a saved annotation. The first step for your annotation is to select a label for the ROI. Then, in the second step, determine and record the percent of tumor-associated stroma that is within the ROI. In other words, how much of the ROI is tumor-associated stroma, where the denominator is the area of the ROI. You may use the mouse or slider bar, or click on the number and edit with your keyboard to make your annotation. Then, assess the density of the stromal tails within the ROI. You are free to pan and zoom to other areas of the slide to see the tissue context to help you annotate, but please only evaluate the ROI marked with the red box. You may also want to refer to the calibration cheat sheet and other training materials to help you annotate. Once you are finished evaluating the ROI, please click Save to save your annotation before moving on to another ROI. Once you have completed the entire slide, you can close the browser tab and return to the browser tab with the batch work list. 
Please continue with the rest of the slides within each batch you start. We may not be able to include partial batch results. Once you have completed all the slides in a batch, you're welcome to click on the dashboard button and navigate to another batch. Please complete as many batches as you would like. We would prefer if you could complete all eight. Thank you for your attention and time. If you have any questions, please email the HC project leads, Dr. Brandon Gallis or Dr. Kate Elfer. This concludes the data collection training video for Path Presenter.